Okay. So that's for real valued matrices. Uh, now in particular we're interested in this class, which this is a type of matrix you most likely haven't seen before. And how did I state that up here? So type 1, type 2 are called 0, 1 matrices, where what happens is, so a B being out of 0, 1 is called a bit. This is not the number 0. This is not the number 1. This is the bit 0 and the bit 1, right? They act like true-false or false-truth. I put it in that order. And so these are bits. What is a 0, 1 matrix? A 0, 1 matrix is simply a rectangular array of bits. Not real numbers, <coughs> bits. We only involve, in other words, when you look at the matrix, what are the only things you're going to see? Zero. Zeros and ones. What a wonderful name. It's a zero-one matrix. But on the other hand, do you add bits? No. Right? What do you do? Well, bits are like logic, true and false. What? You and them, you or them, you can x or them, you can if then them, and you can do by condition, right? All the logical stuff that we've done with it, you can do. And what we're going to do on here, so this is a rectangle array of bits, so example A could be made up of, say, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, you know, something like that. It's a bunch of zeros and ones, but they're not zeros and ones, it's bit 0, bit 1. So what are our ops? First one, what's a quality? Well, A equals B is what? Same size, same stuff. <laughs> I'll just make it nice and easy. Same stuff in same spots. Normally, most people like, you know, it's like, isn't it pretty obvious when I, when I see them that they're going to be equal? Yeah. But normally, that's not how we use equal. The way we normally use equal is ask the question, are they equal? Which means that you take the same spots in the same positions and set them equal to each other. And then you find out, or when are they equal? All right, the first one that we talk about now is called the join. The join is A, and we're going to use the same symbol as or, but it's called the join symbol, even though it's the V. B, and what do we do? What do we do is we take the AIJ and the BIJ. We don't add them, we OR them. So the V on the left and the V on the right are different Vs. The V on the left is the join. What's the V on the right? It's the bitwise OR. Sure would have been nice if they just simply called it OR, but we call it join. Three, the meet. A meets B is AIJ, bitwise and BIJ. So we actually have two types here. Or we have two ops. No, before we only had a plus. Now we have, we have two singleton operators where we, because we have meets. On the other hand, we could also, if we wanted to, we could do the XOR, which would be A, Why is this not working in my head? O plus, right? That's a symbol. <laughs> the exclusive or. I'm like all of a sudden, what symbol do we use for X? <laughs> Which would be AIJ, exclusive or BIJ, right? There's lots of things that we could do. You know, all of the logical operators we could do here if we want. These are the typical ones. The XOR, the OR, the AND, all these bit ops. But on the other hand, we have the Boolean product. For the Boolean product, where we have A, this is O dot, B is going to make a C, where this is a M by K, this is K by N, and it does the same thing product wise, this A, I, J, where we do, like up here, where I took this row in this column, where I took times plus, times plus, 
plus times, right? We go through that and we multiply same positions. That's the scalar. Except what we're going to do is take this row and column in the exact same way, but instead of times, we are going to use and. Instead of plus, we're going to use or. So that means that the CIJ is going to be AI1 B1J, I'm not going to times them, I'm going to AND them. And then I'm going to take the AI2 B2J, I'm not going to times them, I'm going to AND them. Leave yourself a little gap here. Ellipsis. And then we are going to go to AIK BKJ, we don't multiply, we AND, but instead of plus all of these, we OR them. Now, a nice feature of the Boolean product compared to the scalar product. What is the what CIJ is going to be what? What's the only two things it could spit out? It's either 0 or 1, right? Now, for an AND, when's the only time an AND actually spits out a 1? When both are 1. It's 1 and 1, right? So that tells us that I get a 1 only when I have 1 in the same, like first position, first position, 1, I get a 1. Now, if I do get a 1, this is all ORs, right? Who's the dominator of OR? 1. So the moment you get a 1, what can you do? Stop. Short circuit it. The answer is 1. You don't have to do any more work. So what should we be able to do with these things? Same things as all the others. We're just going to take a bunch of zeros and ones. We should be able to add them. What is, not add them, sorry. Or them and them, so meet and join, or Boolean product. With the Boolean product, we also still have powers. But the power must be different, right? I just can't say R because that particular R tells me that A itself is not a 0, 1 matrix. So a Boolean product power is designated differently by putting brackets around it. And this says we do a Boolean product with A, not product with A. Where A to the zero Boolean product is still the identity. Again, I'm interested in, can you do these problems? So I could have things like, OK, let's say A is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1, and say B is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, and let's say C is equal to a, a 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. I could say things like, OK, what is A? and B. What am I looking for? A and B does element wise and it's and right this is this is the meat. So I'm anding positions. So you could imagine that you're taking this matrix and putting it right on top of that matrix. When's the only time you're gonna get a one? When you had two ones, right? <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna be always zero. So if I look at that, do they share any <coughs> One ones and no, no, doesn't. So what do we got? We got zero, 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 right? What would be a join b? Same thing. Imagine in the same positions, but if I have a one, I get a one. So what is it? Probably picked a bad example. All right. C. What's the size of C? So can I do C B? Yeah, 3 by 2, 2 by 2. It's going to spit out a 3 by 2, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 times 1, 0, 0, 0 equals. Now, if we look at this, right, what are we doing? Row, column, right? And you always can kind of cheat a little bit. Look at the column. It has a 1 in the first position, right? And it has 0 otherwise. So if I look at this, I'm going to definitely, as I look, go across, I'm only going to get a 1 where they both start at 1, right? And so that means this is just going to go. This would be like this and this is obviously 0, right? Because it's 0 or 0, which is 0. 0. This next one would be 
like that and that is one or zero, which is one, if you want to do it that way. So that's one, zero, and what would the last one definitely be? Just zeros. What would be A? What would that give us? Zero, 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 zero. Is that right? <coughs> Let's do some. We do it slowly. This and this. What's the first element? Zero, and then we or, because it's one and zero, which is zero. Zero and one, which is zero, and zero or zero is zero. Then first and second, one and one is one. Zero and one is zero. One or zero. One. This is pretty easy. With zero with everything. It's, it's just zero, zero. Good. Notice the difference. I will sometimes cheat. I'll do things like this. One, 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 one. And let's Boolean product that with one, one, zero, one. And then I'll do one, 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 one. And I'll dot one, one, zero, one. I'm so evil. Because I'm lazy, I just copy and paste and change the middle up. What, are the, what does the top tell us? What's the operator say? Boolean product. What does that tell you about the elements that you're multiplying? They are bits. What's this operator? That's real number times. right? Sorry, matrix times. So what does that tell you about these numbers? They're not bits. It's the number 1 and the number 0. So I'm, I'm lazy. So if I would do this, what would you get? That and that would be one and, sorry, one or one, which is one. What about row one and column two? One. And then obviously by symmetry, it's all ones, right? On the other hand, what if I do multiplication? One times one is one. One times one is one. What's one plus one? Two. Come on. Two. And this would be what? Zero plus one, which is one. Then this would be two. And the last one would be one. Not same matrix, but I was able to use the same matrix and get by with it. <laughs> Any question on those? So the, the thing that we need to be able to do is just simply be able to do the ops. We are not going to use these uh, matrices too much. These matrices will show back up in the next semester as well because you can't forget it. Because the matrices, 0, 1 matrices will be ways of representing um, functions and binary relations. Instead of saying the ordered pairs, all possible ordered pairs, like if you could imagine, the application behind this would be this idea, why would you want a 0, 1 matrix? Well, if I said that we had, you know, A, B, and C is going to say A, B, and C in some way, and so my, my function would be A maps to A, A maps to C, B maps to A, C maps to A, and C maps to C, like that. those ordered pairs, right? I could make that as a function, but on the other hand, I could make this as a matrix by going A, B, C, A, B, C, and say, oh, A goes to A, yep, A goes to C, yep, but not to B, B goes to A, yep, but none, nowhere else, where does C go? A and C, there we go. And so that 0, 1 matrix is a representation of a set of ordered pairs. It's just a spreadsheet with 
One, I've got it. Zero, I don't. That's our application.